Ferrer will challenge, but Murray thinks he's done enough. And indeed he has a comfortable victory in the end for Murray. He's done it! Victory for Djokovic. His first title here in Shanghai. But of course, back-to-back -back victories here in China after proving unbeatable in Beijing last week. And he's done it the hard way. Djokovic's love affair with China continues. His seventh tournament win here. His winning streak now stands at an incredible 20 matches. Total respect from both players for each other. Another epic, but it's Djokovic who eventually prevails. for Federer, the 23rd Masters Series 1000 title of his career, but of course his first here in Shanghai, fourth victory of the season, and it almost didn't happen, five match points. A famous victory for Novak Djokovic. His 25th Masters 1000 title. The 10th career title that he's been able to win here in China. He's been outstanding. across Andy Murray's face as he wins here in Shanghai for the third time in his career following victories in 2010 and 2011 a 41st Roger Federer is the Shanghai Rolex Masters champion for a second time for a fifth time in a row, he gets the better of his great rival and wins title number nine. The challenge to call on the left baseline ball was called out. Novak Djokovic is the Rolex Shanghai Masters champion for a fourth time. His love affair with China continues. He comes through this week without losing serve, remember, the entire week. It is a 30-second Masters 1000 title of his career. It's an 18th match win in a row. He is back. Well, it's been a Medvedev masterclass again this week. It's a second consecutive Masters 1000 title for the Russian. After winning in Cincinnati a few months ago, he is now won here in Shanghai without dropping a set. He looks simply unbeatable at the moment. It's now nine straight. Who 
Ruby Hercatch reigns supreme at the Rolex Shanghai Masters. What a final. A second title at this level. And how well he served. I mean, it's a career 